Hello! Oh my god, what is going on with the top of my head? Hello! Welcome back. We are playing Planet Zoo today, a game that I've wanted to play for quite a while, but never had the money to get. Um, <clears throat> it was on offer recently for quite a small amount of money, which I thought was quite handy for my needs. Let me just move the microphone a little bit closer. Um, yeah, uh, it's apparently got quite a lot of DLC. Um, I haven't got any of the DLC. This is just the the base game, and I have I'm quite I, I'm quite a fan of like amusement building games. I just don't play many of them. I played Roller Coaster Tycoon back in the day, um, and we even played some of it on the stream, um, which was fun. Fun in quotations. Um, and, yeah, I liked the idea of making a zoo, because I like animals as well, and I want to see how this goes. Um, I think we will do the career, because I want to see what that's about. Um, maybe we'll do a sandbox at some point, just to, like, go ham and see what we want, what, what we want to build. Um, but um, for now, we are going to go and do career. Um, this is my character here. I based him off of that really gross YouTuber who is always eating Nikocado Avocado, who I hate. Um, but it, it was staring me right in the face, so I, I thought I'd do that. Um, so we are based in England. So let's go. Um, new scenario mode: complete objectives against the clock. One big list of objectives for each scenario. Bronze, silver, and gold stars are awarded based on how long it takes you to complete all the objectives. Objectives can uncomplete if they're not maintained. Interesting. Um, career scenarios, time scenarios. Why are we on time scenarios when it's, we're trying to do career? Stately homeschooling, Goodwin House. Uh, renovated and renamed after its purchase by Bernard Goodwin in the 1980s, Goodwin House has since become one of the most respected respected zoos in the country. Okay, then let's see how we can ruin that. A while ago. I did play um, Planet Coaster as well um, when that came out, and uh, I quite like it. Might play some more of that um, because I think there's. It would be nice to make our like perfect roller coaster park, our perfect theme park, or our perfect zoo. Just make something. Make something nice. I'm in the mood to make things. That's why we're playing this. Giving animals more open space can allow them to display more... Okay, apparently that's not important. Staff won't be efficient at their jobs if they have to... What the fuck? Train a member of staff. I haven't done that. Why is it giving me... Why is it giving me achievements for things I've not done? Building keeper huts close to your habitats and exhibits means that you've... Keepers don't need to go further. Okay. Ah, hey yo, at Hematu. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. oh, oh, sorry about that. I, I, I have a habit of slipping back into the Planko language. <laughs> right. It's good to finally meet you in person. I'm Bernard. Although I insist you call me Bernie. The Dodo. The person who calls me Bernard is my wife. Can we have Dodos? <laughs> and even then, only when I've tracked elephant dung into the carpets. <laughs> Can't help but notice the, um, As you the game's know, chugging I a bit. Several zoos, but I always like to show people the ropes here at my home. This is the first zoo I ever opened. Is it? It's a of great pride for me. And Ugh. prides, thanks to a lion breeding program we ran in the 80s. But we're in the middle of a big renovation, and that's where you come in. Sadly, our old contractor had to retire after developing a fur allergy. Uh, 
poor devil kept sneezing his dentures into the lion habitat. So, it's up to you to finish everything off. Okay. Don't worry, though. I'm not completely throwing you into the deep end. My headkeeper, Nancy Jones, will be lending a helping hand. Okay. Good. Can I just get onto the settings so that I can bring some of this stuff down? Uh... We seem to be having issues. Um, let's bring that down to low and see how that goes. Oh, she's a hard worker, and she'll expect doesn't you seem to have made too. much difference. But I'm sure you'll get along like a house on fire, or even better, <laughs> one that isn't on fire. <laughs> Less shouting that way. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Thanks. Hello there. From that rosy, fresh face of yours, I'm guessing you're Bernie's new hire. Good. Now, I hope you're ready to ditch your diploma, because we're about to get really hands-on. But before we begin the real work, how about we familiarize you with the zoo by learning how to fly around it, and visiting some of our beautiful animals? I think we'll I figured that out. Over and having a look-see at the grizzly bears in their habitat. Middle click to move around, usually. And then doing all this. Explore the zoo, locate the grizzly bear habitat. I'm guessing this one. Uh Oh that's a that's a lion. Um Grizzly bears, grizzly bears. They are likely to have a cave. Bears have caves. Whenever a bear spawns into the world, cave happens. What's this? How, how far in can we go? Oh my god, we can really go in. Uh, these are the lemurs! The lemurs... ...leaming about. Where are they? Is that a keyboard? They've given them keyboards? Are, the, are lemurs just children? Okay. Um, oh, it's over here. It's the big glowing area. Bears. Zachary. Grizzly bear. Okay. I have found it. I have, fa I have found it. Log wall 4M. Is this why it's... We're having trouble because. Did you know that grizzly bears? It's loading also individual known as bits Ursus and pieces. Ursus horribilis can hibernate for up to seven months a year. <laughs> oh, but then again, given the chance, I think a lot of people would do that too. <laughs> yeah. Select one of the bears, and you'll bring up its information panel. Zachary. This is where you can find out all kinds of information about your animal. The most important thing being its overall welfare. You'll learn more about animal welfare today. Apply we or remove contraceptives. But for now, let's enjoy this magnificent animal. Why don't you select the camera at the bottom of its information panel? Oh, we're in the cave. I told you there were caves. What is that? Light. Mode automatic. Uh... Okay, new world area light. Can we do anything about that, or is that just giving us a little bit of light here? Uh, enter grizzly bear animal camera. Animal camera. This is where you can find out all kinds of information about your animal. The most important thing being its overall welfare. You'll learn more about animal welfare today ah, as we go there. through your objectives. But for now, let's enjoy this magnificent animal. Why don't you select the camera at the bottom of its information panel? Bear! It's a bear! See now, this is a fantastic way to get a close look at your animals. You can also get this view of an animal by simply double-clicking on it. Oh, thanks. 
Okay, when you're ready, let's pop over to the other side of the zoo and take a look at the cinematic. Lions. I've marked their location for you to find. Cinematic camera isn't great. Uh, locate the West African lion habitat. Okay. Um. Okay, bye-bye, Zach. We found the lions earlier. They're over here. Okay. Going across like that, I thought these were lions. I thought they'd escaped. We're not having a Jurassic Park situation Hampshire going on. Leo, Leo. Or the West African lion to you and me. Lions are the most social of the big cats, and there can be as many as 40 lions in a pride. Although prides of that size are pretty rare. As Bernie would say, those lions are awesome, which is precisely why I handle the training instead these days. Anyway, uh, how about we get started on those objectives? Ah, Come on, let's head over to an empty habitat and see what needs doing. Lion butt. Why are all, why are all our animals dead? They all just every time we're looking at them, they've just keeled over. Okay, he's twitching. He's fine. Um, camera effects, extra smooth motion. Oh, yeah. Camera light, interesting. Apply vignette. Apply filter. Ooh, okay then. That's a bit. That's a bit much. Madu. Amina. And Eliza. Can we change the names of these? Animal appeal a lot. Terrain, environment, enrichment, stud book. I don't know what that means. Social and genetics. There is a lot in this game, isn't there? Zoopedia, box, animal. Do I get to put them in a box? Ship them off? Ah, yes, we can rename them. Okay, that's good. Um, what are we? What are we doing? Visiting Mrs. Brown. There are players visiting. What? Um. Locate the empty habitat. Well, if it's going to be glowing, there it is. Okay. You know, it'd be nice if, instead of middle clicking to uh, rotate the camera around, it was right click. For some reason, my for animals, brain wants to do that. A certain something. Well, two somethings. Warthogs. <laughs> so I'd like you to adopt a pair of them. To adopt animals, we need to open the animal market, which is in the animal trading section. Okay. So I was just I just noticed that the um that OBS was having issues. It's not For some reason when I'm in the game its frame rate is really really low and awkward so but apparently it's fine. Like the 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 mic thing isn't going up and down not smoothly anyway. Oh well. Uh, yes, warthogs. There we are. A pair of perfectly splendid warthogs for our zoo. Just click on them and select Adopt from the side menu. Simba. Normally the animal exchange would be full of animals, but I've emptied out the market while you learn how it works. The last Silly thing I need her. is you accidentally ordering a dozen elephants. Could we order a dozen elephants? No. Elephant. And African savanna elephant. Damn it. Okay. Fine. We will when you adopt an animal, make it it's automatically warthogs. placed in the trade center where they're held until you're ready to move them into their habitat, which as it happens you are. So how about you move them into their new home? Okay. Uh oh, there's like these send to zoo. Ha ha ha. Okay. 
When you Plop. ask for an animal to be moved into a habitat, your caretakers will go to the trade center, collect your animal, and deliver them to your selected habitat. Okay. They mark the trade center's location. So let's go and watch the caretakers in action. It's over here. Oh. Well, as you can see, those caretakers don't hang about. They'll move those animals to their destination as fast as possible. Of course, normally we'd have to place the animals into quarantine. Oh my God, he's a, a clown! But I am assured by a person of good standing that these warthogs are in the very rudest of health. Right, rudest let's of health. Let the warthogs' habitat finished up so we can keep them nice and happy. You see, what is rudest? This guy's hair. Zoo has an overall welfare statistic, basically how happy they are, and that overall welfare statistic is itself comprised of four different Ooh. areas: nutrition, social health, no, habitat, one, and I enrichment. Wanna... Luckily, if you select an animal, you'll bring up their animal welfare yeah. information panel, which we saw earlier. Where you can see how they're doing. That way, you'll know exactly one gone? what areas need to be addressed. Don't yes. worry, that's a lot to remember. You can always check the Zoopedia for more information. Okie dokie. Right, how do we get them to shag? Let's start by making sure we're taking care of the warthog's nutrition welfare. Okay. To Apparently, do this, they will. We need to place a food station and a drinking station. Now, each animal requires a different type of feeding station. And for the warthogs, it's a small feeding trough. So let's add one of those and a water bowl. Food trough, water bowl. Okay. Where can we put this? Can we put it somewhere stupid? That would be hilarious. There. And... That one can go. Uh, over here on this rock. So that people can actually look. Animals also require stimulation to keep them happy. Let's add a lovely mud bath for the warthogs to roll around in. Mud that bath. bath will count towards their enrichment welfare, specifically their toy enrichment welfare. They love toys. Okay. <laughs> okay. For some reason it allowed me to put the mud bath up on the uh up on the lamp. <clears throat> okay. No. Move. It allowed me to put it on the lamp, though. So it's not allowing me to put it anywhere else. No, see? How about... How about... That. No suitable species. Oh, why must you be so crap? Nice work. You've got a if you say so. This, I see. Now, our contractor had to leave in a hurry, so this place is in a feral state. Unfinished thingamajigs and what's it's all over the shop. But the first thing we you should need clean those to up. finish is the ostrich habitat. Who's that? It's over near the hippos. Who are you? <laughs> Inspecting common warthog. Who are you? You're an inspector, are you? You're not even wearing, like, armour to like, protect yourself from these these foul creatures. Um, what was it? Ostriches? Where do we... Oh, here. Okay. Oh, before we actually start building our ostrich habitat, let's pause the game. Just click the pause button in the bottom right corner. Pause or pee. Ah, that's more okay. like it. A quick break. Sometimes it's a good idea to pause the game whilst you're doing something which requires your concentration. Oh, uh, because it'll train stop tracks the zoo here. spinning out of control while you're looking the other way. Let's keep the game paused while we get this ostrich habitat built. Okay. Job number one here is to add a habitat gate before we complete the barrier. 
every habitat needs a habitat gate. After all, how else would the keepers get in and out? <laughs> okay. Just make sure it's hooked up to the path so the keepers can reach it. I think I've figured it out. I've figured out how this game works. Obstructed. What do you mean? What? Oh. Oh, I see. Right. Let's complete the perimeter barrier Ooh. so we can adopt us some ostriches. I've marked out an area for you to use, so I'd like you to finish off the perimeter using the brick barrier. Okay. Uh. <laughs> uh. Is there a way I can shorten this stuff? What's that? Height? Ooh, interesting. Okay. Oh, I see. What's that? What have I done? Oh, that's the entire thing. Okay, for some reason it's not allowing me to do that. Okay. Good work. Is that going to work? Remember, before you can place animals in any habitat, it has to have a full loop of connected barrier. Right. Now, you've probably noticed that guests can't actually see into this habitat at the moment. No, they can, look. At least not without a step ladder. But seeing as they're banned, I'd like you to select a piece of barrier and swap out the brick for a glass barrier so the guests can see in. Okay. Um. There. Oh, wait. Highlight a selection of barrier, then click the glass barrier in the browser to swap it. There we go. Adding in more windows gives guests even more opportunities to see the animals in a habitat. Okay. It's always best to make sure the guests can get a good view into a habitat from the path they're walking on. Because it makes them happy. And because this would be a pretty terrible zoo if they couldn't. Oh, that sounds amazing. The last thing amazing. you need to do is to add a donation box. You see, when guests enjoy the view of an animal, they'll make a donation. Just make sure you put them in easy-to-reach places, like near a viewing point. Donation boxes are one of the main sources of income for the zoo, so make sure you remember them. Okay. Can I... Oh, they're... Ahahaha. You were silly enough to allow me to put a wall right here. Hold on. I'll put it... I will put it in... Now, in there. before we adopt our ostriches, you should click the play button. After all, if the game's paused, then so are our caretakers, which will make it a oh, bit no. tricky for them to deliver the ostriches, eh? The ostriches can totally get over that. By the way, as well as pausing the game, you can speed the game up by clicking on the fast forward button. It'll run Ooh, everything in two train. times and five times faster. It can be useful, especially if you're waiting for money to accumulate or for animals to be delivered to your habitat. Personally, I use it when I oh, need to a to finish. All right, you've finished the habitat, so it's high time we adopted those ostriches, don't you think? Oh, do Let's we have to? Look, we've already got like a... Oh, I thought... It's a sprinkler. I thought it was a... I thought it was like a little creature or something. Weird... Okay. Uh, adopt the ostriches. Um, there. Four ostriches. <clears throat> Do we have to choose the good ones? It's a gold standard here, whatever that means. What does that appeal? Right. Why is this one so appealing? Does this one have like mites or something? All right, let's let's go for that one.
All right, we'll go for all of them. Uh, send, send to zoo. Put. While you wait for them to be collected by the caretakers and brought to the habitat, you should get it ready for them. Add a suitable feeding station, water station, yeah, and yeah, an yeah. appropriate food enrichment. Item. I, I know. It's slow best feeder. To place things like enrichments and feeding stations near to the habitat perimeter, so guests can get a really good view of the animals. Ah, well, you've just given me the incentive to not do that. Okay, we'll do that there. Large food bowl. Uh, there we go. Water trough small. Um, there we go. <coughs> Good to see the ostriches have somewhere they can really stretch their legs. Did you know they can You're a fool at 43 miles per hour? Oh, oh heaven forbid they ever escape. <laughs> the speed camera finds alone would bankrupt us. <laughs> yes. God forbid they ever escape. Well, oh, Bernie statue. certainly seems impressed. Did he do his speed camera joke? Every time we get an ostrich. So, now we've made the ostriches' lives a bit better, let's oh, do Oh, they're already eyeing it up. Shall we? To make it easier for the keepers to feed the ostriches and hippos, we should build a new keeper hut. Keeper huts are where the keepers prepare the food for animals, so they should Ooh. be placed near to the habitats to make sure the keepers don't waste their time walking when I they should see. be looking after the animals. <clears throat> keeper hut. So everything is in this keeper hut, right? Classic Keeper Hut, Planet Zoo Keeper Hut Small. Okay, there's not much difference in there. You'll need to pricing. rotate the Keeper Hut to get it to connect up to the path. Okay. Uh. Rotate. Z plus. Oh, the fuck. Z plus left and right. Oh, okay, so I hold Z and it rotates. Interesting. Is that just gonna... Invalid rotation. Where's the... Oh! The door's there! Okay. Oh, it just... It just does that, right? Okay. This keeper hut only has space for one keeper, but the larger keeper hut can allow multiple keepers to prepare food at the same time. Oh, right. But bear in mind that keeper huts and other staff facilities shouldn't be placed near to areas where there are lots of guests. Uh oh. Guests don't like seeing facility buildings, and it can affect their happiness. Negatively. They got out. <laughs> In case that wasn't clear. Something that all facilities, shops, and a whole host of other objects need is power. And How that did they get obviously out? includes your newly built keeper hut. Oop, so let's place there we a go. transformer next to it, shall we? <laughs> well, let's just leave them there. Uh, oh, I've accidentally pressed a button on my keyboard. Uh, what's that? Transformer. Now, the reason everything has gone blue is because you're using the power heat map. This map allows you to see what is and what isn't powered in your zoo. So okay. once you've placed your transformer, you can click in the bottom left Ooh. to turn the heat map off. Uh, there we go. Now the keepers can start using the hut to prepare food. And thanks to where you've put it, they won't need to walk very far to deliver it to the ostriches and hippos. Let's get on to your next objective then. Bengal tigers. Yeah, I don't think. Them, but I'm afraid there's nothing ready for them yet. Head on over to the plot of land I've marked out. It's not too far away. Uh, there. Perfect. Right next to the I ostriches. See, your next job is to build a habitat from scratch. <laughs> and concrete and glass, I expect. So, go ahead and build it. Just make sure that the habitat includes that big hole we've dug. Oh, and don't forget to add a habitat gate to the barrier. Okay. Oh, and make sure the guests will be able to see the tigers. Make sure they'll be able to see the tigers. 
barriers. Okay, concrete. Bengal tigers, dangerous beasts. Uh, we've got to include the hole. Okay, in that case, it's just going to be the hole. And a little... Co Is there a way we can, like, shorten this? Um, like, why does it always have to be two meters? Can it not be... Oh. Oh, okay. Right. There we go. Superstar comes along. Have an animal reach a five-star animal rating. Well, well done, whoever that was. There we go. Um... Um... There we go. Let's see how that goes. Um, can we... Now, obviously, they need to be able to see over. So let's... Um... Let's bring that down a little bit. We'll add a little bit of glass somewhere, because obviously we're not going to complete this unless we get some glass in there. Oh, oh, I've added an extra pillar in there. Interesting. Oh, I see. Um, let's delete that then. Glass. I see. There we go. Um, maybe one there as well, just so that they can see most of the tree. Good. Um, most of the, oh, they need an entrance. I want to see how they handle an entrance here. Now. Bernie takes safety very seriously at his zoos. So oh, does he? probably make sure those tigers can't jump out of their habitat, don't you think? <laughs> the way we'll do it is by changing the height of the habitat's barrier. Okay, then. You should start by double-clicking the habitat barrier, which will take you into barrier editing mode. Okay. Great. Now highlight the entire perimeter of the habitat. You can Done. do that by clicking and dragging the barrier selection tool. Perfect. That's ideal. Now that the habitat is in place, don't forget to put down a donation box near to your viewing areas. We need every dollar we can get. <laughs> Especially as these tigers aren't exactly eating instant noodles for lunch. Why not? Oh, it won't allow me to mess around. Oh... Okay. Um, donation box. I see. I see how it is. Donation box. Let's stick that way over here, so they in the middle of the path, okay, so they don't the know what it's for. Complete the habitat gate in place, and most importantly, the tigers won't be able to jump out of it anymore. Ugh. I think it's time we adopted those tigers. What about the ostriches? You weren't that fussed when the ostriches got out. No, I've got to go get some tigers instead, don't I? Fine, we'll adopt them. Send to zoo. Uh, what happens if I try and put it in a different place? Invalid destination. 
Invalid destination. Okay. First, our trusty caretakers collect and deliver the tigers. Let's take a look at preparing the habitat for their arrival. We'll start with the basics. Add a suitable feeding station for them. Feeding station. Okay. Habitat. Food tray. Uh... No, not on the tree. What about under the rock? This time, instead of adding a water bowl, let's try something different. Some animals need a pool in their habitat so they can go for a swim, but they can also use it to drink from. All you have to do is make sure the banks of the pool have a gentle slope so they can easily get a nice, refreshing drink. There's already a pool excavated, but you still need to fill it with water. You should okay. do that by going into terrain and selecting the water tool. Terrain. Down here. Okay. Terrain stamp tool. Water. Water there. Calm water, rough water, select water, remove water. Okay. Um... Yes, that'll do nicely. Of course, just like the water really? and ostriches, these tigers will also need that some small amount of water. Why don't you add some suitable toy and food enrichment items into their habitats? Okay. Um, frozen blood pumpkin, rubbing pad. Uh, toys. Oh, these are the toys. Okay. Okay. Um, that. And we'll stick the blood pumpkin in the puddle. Outside. Okay, fine. There. Okay, it's really starting to take shape. Now, You're the telling me. will need a shelter in their habitat so they can hide from the guests, or more likely the bad weather. Although, given that we're in England, you might want to think of that just as Are we? normal weather. <laughs> Go on, add a shelter to their habitat. This seems... You can either build one from various suitable bits and bobs, or if you like, just pop down the blueprint that I've already built for you. It seems a bit sunny for England, but then that does look quite familiar. Uh, there's a blueprint, is there? Okay. Does that count? Is that right? Nothing's changed. Alright, I'll stick it back there then. Uh, increase hard shelter welfare to 60%. Is where where does it tell me that? Oh, I've accidentally double clicked. No, no, no I don't want to do. I don't want to do this. I want. So, where does it tell me this? Habitat 13. Um, cleanliness. Increase hard shelter welfare to 60%. Where is it telling me this? Um... Okay. Is that is that fine? Is it up is it up to 60%? I don't know where this is. Are we there yet? Zoop 
Wikipedia, no. Can we get her to repeat what she said? Okay, it's really starting to take shape. Now, the tigers will need a shelter in their habitat so they can hide from the guests, or more likely the bad weather. Although given that we're in England, you might want to think of that just as normal weather. <laughs> Go on, add a shelter to their habitat. You can either build one from various suitable bits and bobs, or if you like, just pop down the blueprint that I've already built for you. Okay. I've done that. Uh, increase terrain welfare to 100%. Increase plants welfare to 100% to 90%. Um, okay. I suppose I've got to just do this stuff myself then. Uh, except I have nothing to do. Is it because these aren't technically in the barrier? Within the barrier? Okay. Let's move all these in here. Uh, this one can go... There. No. Is there a way I can... Oh, what have I done? Have I gone in on the on the actual thing? Okay. Uh, there we go. Outside of placement area. All right, that'll have to do. How do I? How did I get to that? Oh. It's a shame I can't just click and drag. M to move. Uh, Alright. Just move everything. Oh god, everything's stuck. Is this... is this doing... is this okay? Are we good? Why, is it, why do I have to double click to do that? Editing Planet Shoes. Sh Planet Zoo Shelter. Oh, I'm editing the shelter. Why can't I just place on top of it? Why do I have to edit it to do that? Just place. Um, alright. Give me. All the plants. See, now... Now that I'm not clicking on these, I'm not technically editing them anymore. That's odd. Um... Oh, fuck's sake. When I click something, can you just do it? What the hell's that? Oh, it's our tiger! Did they not get in? Oh, this seems fine. He's not doing anything. Yeah. Tiger out in the open, not so bad. I think they're given a bad rap. A bad rap or whatever the fuck. What is that? What was that that was moving? There. All the plants are now back in the... Uh, back in there. And yet we're still... Increase hard shelter welfare to 60%. I... What? How do I find that out? Terrain... Oh. Oh, right. Hang on. Log. Maintenance. Soil... Okay. Environment... Coverage. 63. 
don't really know what that means. It's not telling me how to... Oh. There's the other lion. Increase the shelter oh, welfare. Dabs. I'm sure it can't have escaped your attention. Oh. The tigers look a bit miffed. That's because they aren't too keen on the type of terrain in their habitat. Select a tiger and bring up its information panel. Okay. I want this right tiger. Here. Click on the terrain Ooh. tab. That way you can view the terrain information and see how they feel about the different types of terrain. That'll tell you what the tigers need more of or less of in this habitat. What are you doing? Bring that tiger back. <laughs> okay. Um, terrain. Okay, then. Open the terrain editing tool, select painting, and give them some more soil. Yes, that more should help soil. the habitat part of their welfare. Terrain. Painting. Soil. Soil light. Is that better? Are you happier with more soil? Is it working? Animal needs more gra- So they don't need more soil, they need more grass. They need more short grass. Right then. All there we go. You lied to me. From their own biome or continent. You know, deserts, savannas, or Asia, Europe, that sort of thing. It looks like these tigers need a few more plants in their habitat. To get oh, a perfect do they? Fit, use plants from the rainforest and temperate biomes that are native to Asia. Although, if you have to, you can get away with using just one or the other. The tigers will also want a certain amount of their habitat to be covered by those plants. To find out which plants to use and how many, select Tropical a tiger and go to the environment grasslands. tab. Environment. Now, as you can see, some of the plants currently in the habitat aren't quite right for the tiger, like the wattle bushes. You can remove them if you want. Uh, you can find all of the plants you need in the nature section, and you can use the filters to only show the types of plants you want temperate. to see. Temperate. In this case, that's plants from the rainforest. Holly tree. Temperate biomes. Bengal bam. Well, they are Bengal tigers, so let's get Bengal bamboo in there. Um. Yeah. How's that? How 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 are you feeling now, mate? What do you what do you want? You feeling hungry? You feeling like you need meat? Um Yeah, seems pretty happy. Really enjoying that shade by the wall there. Um Animal has severe welfare issues. That is, a, that is a lie. Just because it can't find its way in doesn't mean it's, you know, not being cared for. That's not what I want. Um, what am I trying to do now? Increase plant welfare to ninety percent. Call vet. Why can't I... Wait, is this... Where's the other lion? Where's it gone? I hear... I hear growling. Hello? 
Hello, where where is where is other Ah, there you are. Vet assigned. Call vet uh, why is there a Oh, and it's dead. Okay. Oh, now it's a box. Dehydrated. Why is it dehydrated? There's all this all this grass and all these facilities. Okay. Oh, it's pooping. Kitty's pooping. Oh, <laughs> it's fallen over again. Um. Where'd the other one go? Hey, okay. Nutrition, not great. Uh, terrain. What does it, what does it need? Deep water environment. Buffalo grass, white birch tree. Uh... It's, it's a box again. Right, we'll start with the white birch tree. Um, birch. White birch tree. Okay. Let's get a whole bunch of those in there. Um, uh, not from the same continent as the animal. Oh. Oh. Right. So it's got the wrong plants in here. So I just spent all that time putting them in there and actually it doesn't want them. Okay, so let's let's delete the trees. Some of these are still attached to wait these these it does want. I think it's these it doesn't. Wait, are they... Are they the right ones? Hang on. I need the Zoopedia. How do I get to the Zoopedia? Bengal Tiger. It wants tropical, temperate, and grasslands. Uh, tropical, temperate, grasslands. Right. So anything that isn't any of those has got to go. So that... Temperate. Hey! <clears throat> they say the good fences make good neighbors. I guess that's doubly true when one of the neighbors is a Bengal tiger. <laughs> Thanks. The ape Still, apprentice. Those tigers look the ape so apprentice. happy that I doubt they leave. Even if you did poke a hole in their fence. <laughs> oh, but for heaven's nice. sake, don't test that theory. What? Shadow Wolf 668 wasn't wants to ask you a hypothetical question. Right. If you were an Let's animal, what would you be? I've been oh, told there we go. To improve their social welfare. That came up very, very much before you'd said it in the chat. <laughs> Hello, Shadow Wolf. If you were an animal, what would you be? Tardigrade. Oh, we've got one of those uh, one of those tigers that keeps becoming a box. That's fine. This one, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, 
Careful. Uh, yeah, right. We've got, we've got the box tigers. Locate the highlighted area. Okay, that's fine then. They seem to be agreeing with that. So what's this? Now then, just find one of the peafowls and select them to open an information panel. Then we can that have a good gander at how they're doing. Although technically, I suppose gandering would just be for geese. Uh, I I see what you did there. Right. We've got Phil. Social welfare, and we can get a bit more detail. Where's the other one? Is there another one? How do I just select the the enclosure? <clears throat> like, is there a way to just select the enclosure? Indian P for okay. I think if I click the walls, it does that. <clears throat> Okay, where I just saw another one. Where's it gone? Ah. Stop trying to select the walls. Niara. Naira? There was like a yellow one. Uh Expand social welfare. Adopt and place three new Indian peafowls. It's interesting they're calling them peafowls. We know them as peacocks. But if that's their proper name. Okay. Uh, peafowl. Um. I mean, I mean, it would help if they were available. Uh, now, they've clearly got plenty of space and they're not stressed, but it looks like their social group isn't quite right. They're not so stressed. Click on the social tab at the top of their information panel to see what's wrong. Too few adults and juveniles in animal social group. So there's not enough of them. Well, surely they should shag. Oh, they're both males. Well, surely they should shag. Um, alright. I found it. Have I got it? Can I, can I do it now? I've, I've figured it out. I've, I've figured it out. Hey, I figured it out. Where is she? Open. Oh, I've got to open right. the social tab. As you can see, the peafowls need their population to be larger. To right. solve this little problem, they should shag. Three more they should shag. Off you pop to the animal market then. They should shag. Animal market. Fine. Oh, look, some females. It's a bit annoying how inconclusive this uh, this game is. Conclusive? Did I say conclusive? Inclusive? Non-inclusive? <sighs> they should shag. Good work on those pea fowls. I expect they'll be delivered soon. Yeah, get but away sadly, from me. It sounds like our snow leopard is a bit grumpy. Let's head over there and see what's wrong with her. Snow leopard. Oh, we've got a snow leopard. Interesting. Like people, There's some snow. Can suffer from stress if things aren't quite right. If it's a snow yeah, leopard like and it's in England, in the milk before the tea it bag. should be fine. In the case of these snow leopards, they're a bit stressed by their lack of privacy. You can lower I their stress see. levels by swapping out the normal glass barrier by their cave for one-way glass. It's 
not a cheap option, but I think they're worth the expense, don't you? One This will give the right. snow leopards somewhere to go when they want to get away from the prying eyes of the guests. Interesting. That is one bushy tail. Is that what they actually look like? Do they actually have such bushy tails? That's amazing. Uh, but anyway, anyway, enough of that. Yeah. So we've got to put some proper glass in here. Um, barriers. How about one-way glass? Interesting. Oh, hang on. Am I doing this right? What is this? What's this little thing I'm holding? Wait. Um. What am I, what am I doing? I'm on... Where the fuck has it gone? Barriers. Oh, there wasn't actually anything there for a little while. Oh, yeah, look, it's escaped. Of course, when an animal isn't in its natural biome, it's probably going to be too hot or too cold. Ah. Only surprisingly, yes, okay, leopards, we've put that the wrong way around. So now, now they you should help cool it down can't see the tiger. Okay, but that's fine. Let's start by opening up the temperature heat map and having a look see at the temperature in the leopard's habitat. The leopard's habitat. Uh, heat map. As you can see, we already have one cooler in there. Let's pop some more down and get as much of the habitat as chilly as we can. Okay. Luckily for us, this habitat already has power, <coughs> but you'll need to make sure of that in the future. Just so you know, if any part of a habitat is powered, then the whole habitat will be powered. Okay. Um. Let's plop. Uh, let's plop one. Wait, is this gonna, this is going to do an area, right? So I could put it like there. You can find heat maps for all sorts of helpful things, so do be sure to explore them and make good use of them. It'll take a little while for the temperature to adjust once you've added coolers or heaters, but now we've got the coolers in, we can address the leopard's terrain welfare. You see, what the leopard's really wanting here is snow and rock, so let's make that happen. I mean, there's no such thing as too cold, is there? Um, what do they want? Terrain painting. They want they want rock. Smooth rock or just normal rock? Snow. Every oh I can't see. Uh ha. Okay. Let's make the size of that large. There we go. Okay, it's not... There's a bit of overlap. A disappointing amount of overlap. It's got to be so overlapped. There we go. And, what was it, rock? We can do that as well. We can go... Um, okay, apparently one's too small. There we go. Little patch in the middle. Little poo patch. <laughs> okay, are they happy now? Is that is that fine? Are we good? Uh, add three coolers. Did that increase terrain welfare to a hundred percent? Um, well, I suppose <clears throat> with a lack of any animals in here, we can't really tell 
Was there really only one in here? Surely they're going to get our snow leopard. Where is our snow leopard? Um, how do I find our animals? Animal trading? No. No, this is this is trading. <clears throat> Blueprints, barriers, habitat. Okay, that's for building habitat. Oh. I heard a thing. Hello? I suppose they will be near wherever things are fleeing. I don't see any more people fleeing. I don't hear any noises. Wait, you're fleeing from over here. Where is the tiger? I don't know how we get it up. Like, where our animals are. Surely, as part of a like an animal game, like a, a zoo, there should just be the option to find the animals. Zoo? Ah, here we go. Such a tiny little button right in the corner. Um, is that a tortoise? Speedy. Speedy, Emil, and Sekalaga. Interesting. Okay, this is how we look at the stats for all our things. Right. So where is our tiger? Animal escape. That sounds like our one. Um... Is there a way to get go go to it? Zoopedia? N no. Animal escaped. Yeah, great. Show me. I'm hearing noise. Ah, ah. There it is. Um, do we need to call the vet? Hey up, chum. Ah, uh, it wants pip shot juice. Um, it has severe welfare issues. I think that it's just being a bit picky. Right, where's where is this vet this so-called vet locate vet okay vet is a common has a bit of a trek um, I'm not sure okay this way there is our escaped animal who is called Ullinjagantesteg. Now, did we accidentally type that in, or is that actually its name? There we go. Put it back in the box. Shadow oh, Wolf six sixty eight wants to name it Greg. Greg, I suppose we could call it Greg. Uh, Greg, there we go. Greg the Snow Leopard. Well then, all of that should give you a pretty good understanding of how to make animals happy. 
So I I'd like see. You to go and check on all the other animals in the zoo and fix up any issues with their habitats. Okay. That will increase the average welfare of the animals across the whole zoo. Are and you that sure? Average welfare is a very important statistic. That's now, the last thing we need to do. How all your animals are doing in the zoo, you should go into zoo management and then into the animals section. Okay. As you can see, this list shows you the animal's overall welfare. So, if something's amiss, then you can quickly pop over to them using the locate button. Right. I'm off for a cup while you make sure all the, the animals locate are well looked button. after. There is a locate button? Okay. Open zoo management. Oh. Animal has avoided capture for a long time. Perhaps use emergency capture. Okay, it said locate button. Is that the locate button? These are animal alerts, but like, is there actually... Like, if I were to click this button here, can I... How do I locate? That's moving. Hippopotamus. Keeper has not attended to the to the habitat in a long time. Okay. <clears throat> Hippopotamus habitat cleanliness is a disease risk. Animal is stressed. How is a tortoise stressed? Uh social. Animal is stressed and trying to hide. Trying to hide. Is the problem that it doesn't have anywhere to hide? Uh, okay. Let us give it something to hide under. <coughs> Metal basic shelter. Um, animal burrow small. Let's give it a large burrow. There we go. Um, or... Wait, 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 wait. He keeps telling me to go here. I'm looking at the screen, right? And so far, it's been telling me to... You know, where to click. But, like, as soon as I get to here, it starts <clears throat> it starts not telling me shit. Like, this is all meant to make sense. And I mean, the animal has severe... Oh, it's going up. Whatever's happening, it's going up. Enrichment. In insufficient en enrichment is being provided to cover all animals. Uh, okay. Uh, habitat. Let's give it some toys. Oh my god, there are so many different things. Bongos! Surely it needs bongos. Here. Go nuts. Um, what's going on? The ostriches. Dangerous animal has escaped. That's fine. That's fine. There's no need to deal with that. It's in the wild. How did it get up there? Are we actually going to have to deal with this wall? Okay, let's try with the hippopotamus. Right, what's wrong with the hippos? Welfare. Animal has severe welfare issues. Nutrition. Animal is starving. Requires keeper. Has it tried eating? Keeper. We're going to need to hire more keepers then, aren't we? Uh, 
How do we hire more keepers? Let's see, this is something you've not told me to do, how to do. You've told me how to care for the animals, you just haven't told me how to, like, care for the zoo. Frozen blood pumpkin, food tray large. What's this meant to... what? Feeding station cannot be reached by keepers. Since when? Put some effort in. Get a ladder. Um, is there a staff button? Um, staff. How do we, how do we hire? Hire stuff. I can't do that. We have plenty of stuff. Is right, okay. Is the problem that my staff is too occupied with other issues such as I think that's an ostrich in there that they are neglecting the other the other animals. See, what's this ostrich going to do? Is it immediately going to jump over the wall? I just heard an elephant as well. Do we have elephants? Oh, hang on. It's eyeing it up. Okay, okay, yeah, we, we've... We seem to have, um... Problems with the fact that... Things are starving because our, our things are... They're, they're, oh, we have to be sensible. That's, that's disappointing. Okay, let's bring the wall up. In fact, let's bring... Let's bring all the wall up. Why can't I do all the wall? There. Now, surely you can't get over it. Maybe that bit. Right, what next? Low welfare still? What's wrong with you? Social. Animal has severe social... What was it? Stress. Trying to hide. Why is it trying to hide, though? Enrichment. We've given it enrichment. Look, I've given it drums. Why is it not... Why is it not playing with the drums? Is it just the wrong type of toy? Beaver pool? I think I've been there. Block of frozen fruit, block of ice. Uh, climbable natural platform. Grazing ball feed. Uh, can I just, like, tortoise? Uh, are these good for tortoises? I'm imagining that it's going to tell me in here. Aldabra giant. Is that what... Is that what's here? If I just, like, put shit tons of ice everywhere and dog balls. Herb scent marker? I don't know. That one's up in a tree. How's that? Hey! Yeah, okay. Ostriches have escaped. That's fine. Hippopotamus is starving. They will get fed eventually. Uh, yeah, it just seems the hippos are, are starving because our staff was preoccupied. Um, 
Keeper has not attended. That's again the hippopotamus. Uh, so what's this? Looney Balloons 2 without a vendor for a long time. W why? Why do we not have staff for the... Wait. Why do we not have staff? Why can we not hire staff? What's the staff currently doing? No vendor. But just hire someone? Please? Radio's on. Did they quit? Um, alright. Uh, tigers are still sleepy. Um, avoided capture for a long time. Perhaps use emergency capture. Do we need, like, another door? Oh. Um... Oh, that would be why they're so sleepy. Because they keep getting tranquilized every five minutes. And then put through the door and thus back through the wall. Oh, I'm getting so bunged up, it's gross. Okay, maybe if I move the wall... they can, like, finally get into their habitat properly. How's that? Maybe they can stop being so sleepy as well. Uh, ostriches, they've still escaped. Hippos are starving. Tigers, tigers... Animal is thirsty. But they've got water. They've got a little bit of water. They've got like a tiny bit of water. Just lap that up. No, we're not. That's not what we're here for. We're not Avada Kedavering them. Not enough money. We've got loads of money. We've got too much money, in fact. Look. Loads. Animal welfare ha has attracted protesters. What? There's nothing wrong with them. They've got their they've got their their living area. Well, uh, hang on. Are, are the tigers like are the tigers actually in here now? They are, and no. they've pooped. They're alive. They're working. What are you? Who are you? Why are you allowed in here? Next to the tiger. Okay. I suppose things will just eventually start getting back to a sort of normal... Normal-ish area. So that things can... So that we can finish the tutorial. I don't see, I don't see what the problem is. Spirit, hello! Long time to see, how have you been? I have been fantastic. I am all bunged up. Uh, it, is, it is super sexy. Um, we are playing Planet Zoo, and I don't see why they're having so many issues. Um, I suppose we could put a little bit more water in this ditch. Ditch water. Honestly, I don't. I. I. I wouldn't. I wouldn't drink it myself. But if it's a, a wild animal, I'm sure they'll be fine. All right. How do I actually apply this? Um, do I just paint? It's saying. 
it's saying to do it. Auto paint, highlight hidden barriers, water cleaning, yeah, whatever. Just water, please. There we go. Did I have to double click it? Is that, is that, was that the problem? There we go. I think it was the wrong button I was pressing. Yeah, that's fine. Right, tigers, you may be dehydrated. Hang on, what was that out here? Is he running because of the tiger? The tiger get out? It was waiting for him. Oh, sleepy tiger. Now, they don't seem to be moving past this bit. Are they stuck? I'm going to take that grunt as a yes. Okay, we will move you slightly over so you can maneuver your way through. I didn't want to have to do this, but there you go. You have the ability to move into your slightly wetter habitat. And they just do not want to move, do they? Maybe it's this. Maybe it's this bit here. How's that? Who are you and how did you get in? Who, who the fuck is that? No, did I get out of the menu? Oh. Who are you? You've got a hat and a badge, so you must be someone important. Inspecting hat. You're an inspector. Claudine Haynes. You sound like an inspector. I don't like it. Hey, look, they're finally... Get into their uh, their habitat. Maybe these warnings are probably going to disappear now. Ugh. You've got Peter on you. Oh, Peter has got some very strange opinions. He's he's not my friend. Yeah little train wandering past, Thomas the Tank Engine style. Okay. Uh, I'm glad to hear you are doing well. Got a cold or just sniffles? No, it just... It just happens whenever I start streaming. Just, it starts... I start getting bunged up. I think it's because I'm talking quite a lot. It's vibrating all the, the gunk in my head. Which is amazing. Um... Why are the ostriches still loose? I thought we fixed the, the wall. What the fuck is that? What was that flip? Oh, are they balloons? Oh, they're balloons. Why are the ostriches still loose? Do they need a bigger, a, a bigger wall as well? How do I how do I select all of it again? Um uh, um barriers height no <coughs> I don't know how... It told me how to do... Oh, okay. It told me how to do this, but now I don't know how to do it from... From here. Why are you deleting? Stop! Okay. Okay, I'm just going to do that. That's what I want to do. Ah, edit barrier. But what... All of it, please. Okay, I want to see what happens, because... It seems like it's able to get over here. How are you escaping? How are they still escaping? Come on. Come on, jump it, I dare you. No? 
Okay. Seems fine. I would like to know how to deal with the... So I want to do all of them. It, it's... Oh, fuck's sake. Okay, we've got a bit of strange wall there. It just doesn't seem to want to do what I want. What is that? What's selected over here? Okay, that's odd. Oh, did I do that? How did I do that? As I was moving, things it sounded like things were being placed. This game is just not behaving itself. I don't get how the ostriches are still loose. Oh, they're not. It's just that they've got... So where are the other ostriches then? We had one up here. Alright, cool vet. Usually they just do it themselves. Teach us your ways, ostrich. You have an opening for them near the trees and water. Do I? That's glass. That's where I put the glass for the... Uh... Oh, shit. For the, the people to see into the enclosure. Because... I wanted to respect the um, the ostriches' the ostriches' privacy, and uh, just have a wall here. One, two. We've got two. I know we bought four. You're doing a run up. What was that? Was that the sound of an egg? Are you making eggs? I mean, I have told you guys you can shag. Hydration animal is dangerously dehydrated. How? Oh, is it because your water bowl's up here? Right. Um. Alright, I'll put it somewhere sensible then. God, this game doesn't allow you to do anything fun. There, eat. Drink, be merry, and other such. There's the other ostrich. So where's our fourth one? Was it poached? Did it get poached by fucking whoever that zookeeper person was? Okay, it does seem that the only problems we have now are the ostriches. All the others have been rectified. There we've got fucking Alcatraz over here. Filled with tigers, barely even visible. Okay. This is quite a nice looking place, actually. Yeah, before I got involved. Hey, warthogs, have you started making more warthogs? Nice to see my placement of your food trough isn't a problem. Except it says inaccessible. Uh, alright, I'll move it down. Eat! Good. I wonder what happens when we put every animal in the same enclosure. Did we did we buy all those peacocks? Have they actually been put down? I don't remember if we actually moved them. Trade history. Oh, okay. Are they in there? Yes. There they are. Ha-ha. Good. Right. Why are we still having problems? Look, just evict them. If we've got protesters, evict them. 
Where's security? Do we not have security? The simple fact that I can't hire new staff is a big problem here. Vet research, mechanic research, facility... Well, please! Animal is starving. Well, it needs to put more effort into finding food then! Why are these things so needy? One, two, three... Where's the other one? Oh, la boopy la boo yourself. Oh, we're getting frame rate issues as well. Bastard. Bastard ostrich. Still loose. Is it out here? <gasps> it's over there. That's probably why the welfare is so crap. Why are we suddenly getting such bad frame rate issues? Is it the smoke? Do we need to go into the settings and bring it down to the lowest possible thing? Because we are complete garbage. There we go. We're going to be getting PS1 graphics. I think it actually was the train. Or maybe just, like, the... Hang on, hang on. I think, yeah, I think it was just the train. The smoke effects... ...are causing issues. Oh my god, it is just... ...not happening. I don't understand. Everything's going to shit. Maybe just the tutorial isn't meant to go on this long. Oh, what? Something is happening to this game. Or is there something happening on my computer that it doesn't like? Oh, I don't know. Nothing's on. We shouldn't be having any issues. Okay. Hey, there we go, our ostriches are back. Now we only have one issue. The animal welfare has at attracted protesters. We just need an elephant rifle to solve that problem. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a, it's a balloon. I thought it was like some sort of, I don't know, Sasquatch. What's going on here? Why have you got a ball attached to your ass? What's that? Oh, it's your tail! Oh, I don't know what's going on here. So, I, I'm, I'm going to assume, as soon as this disappears, we're going to have... Um, it's going to be the end of the tutorial. Possibly? Is there a way we can get rid of the pro Where are the protesters? Is it just because the welfare's bad? Nutrition. Animal nutrition is, is severe uh, hydration. Well, we put the food in the place where it can get them. It just needs to go and get them. Should we speed up just to get it over there? Come on. Up you get. Up you get. Come on. Place the broom between your legs and say, up. 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 Come on. Low wealth. Now the lions are having problems. Low wealth. What's wrong with you now? Animal has severe social welfare issues. Space. Critical area or crowding issues are present. 
Is there? But look at the size of the place. Or are you like stuck under a rock or something? You're fine. And what are you like two? Just just walk. I think you're stuck, aren't you? Hungry. Move. Yeah, immediately fixed because it was stuck. And that's the only problem at the moment. The processors are still here. Oh, it's this fucking train. Can we delete the train? Off. Closed. No more train. Smoke effects seem to be causing issues. I assume. Or maybe it's just there's too many people in the park? I don't fucking know. We weren't having issues before. Maybe there's like a memory leak or something. Did the train stop? Oh, can you just stop with the steam? I want to see if it's the smoke that's causing the problems. Delete. to look into this in a manual way. Temporal anti-aliasing. We could turn anti-aliasing off. Shadows low, water reflections off, post-processing. Does it need it? Post-processing? actually that's sort of looking gross oh I don't know grass density how about off can we not have off for grass density please chromatic aberration isn't that part of like TV effects ambient occlusion Screen space reflections. Oh, I don't. I don't have a clue what half this does. All I know is we're having frame rate issues. I mean, it doesn't look too bad with the things we turned off. It's just the frames. Right, we don't have any issues with the with the park anymore. Can we can we can we like get on with finishing? Increase the average habitat species overall welfare to 90% overall. Really? How do I find that out? Um, habitats, common warthog, quarantine exhibits, welfare, where's welfare? How long will it take for the welfare to be better? 
Zoo overview. Okay, that's a bit more handy. Um, crime. Crime. Replace. Okay. Guests, everything. Ev uh, animal rating, zoo reputation, guest happiness. Marketing, guest education rating. Uh, where are the things that I need to know? Habitats. They seem fine. Running cost species. Quarantine? We've got a quarantine? Why do we need a quarantine? Well, ah, welfare. The zebras are causing problems. What's wrong with the zebras? Alright, TJ, I'm going to run for now. Have fun with your animals and hope to catch up with you sometime. Okie dokie. Have fun doing whatever you're about to go and do. Uh, longevity. Why is that a problem? Can I? How do I? Again, it doesn't tell me how to. How I get to them? All right, fine. I'll go find the zebras. Is that these guys here? Why are these selected? They're not zebraing enough. I, I really wish they would zebra some more. Emphasize their ze zebading. Oh, look, we've got elephants. Where would they be? Would they be over here? Is this a... No, this is a big, like, mansion house. Out in the open. We've got giraffes! I didn't know that. Oh! Zebra! Sherl! Where's the one that's got the issues? Um, yeah, all... Okay, all the zebras seem to be having issues. Why? Enrichment. They're bored. Okay. Habitat. Uh... A zebra hanging grazer feeder. Oh, they're gonna love that. Let's give them like a couple of those if the frame rate will fucking allow it. Hey, it looks like their welfare is going right up. Um, rubbing pillar. Go for that. Not bad at Ooh. all. Hey! It's fair to say that you've passed the first part of your training with flying colours. Thanks. There's still lots more to learn, but we'll have to head to another one of Bernie's zoos for that. If you want to grab your passport, we'll head off, shall we? Passport? Where are we going? Return to the menu. Thank fuck. Oh my god. i got to find out what's causing these issues. Save zoo as... Alright. Apparently we're saving the zoo. Um, fuck it, we'll keep it as Goodwin House. I don't know whether it's just because there's too many people or something is happening. I don't know, everything just started slowing down.
there were a lot of people. <coughs> Wider pass can help reduce crowd congestion. What about my frame rate congestion? How do I solve that? I just I want to check to see if there's anything running as well. Like, if I go to my task manager, I want to see what's happening. Oh my god, Planet Zoo is taking up two gig of memory. No wonder it's slowing down. Oh my god. Yeah, it's like the most taxing thing in the universe right now. Wow. Okay, um, I suppose we'll just have to keep chugging through. The Madagascan Simian Conservation Project. Monkeys! Time for monkeys! Monkey Zoo! Monkeys only! No other animals allowed. Chimps galore. So turn on lasers. Okay. Just noticed my background was a bit dark. Uh, this is taking a long time. Animals may not be able to access water if the slope is too steep. What does that mean? Welcome to Madagascar. It's quite the change of scenery from dreary old England, huh? <laughs> Apart from the weather, I suppose. They don't call these places rainforest for nothing. <laughs> the zoo you'll be working in is an ape sanctuary where we're doing vitally important conservation work. Not just for apes, Zoha. but for all kinds of species. But apes, well, apes are some of the closest relatives to humans there are. And yet, the way the world treats them is like, well, very much like some of us treat our actual relatives. <laughs> With the utmost anyway, care. That's why I'm determined that our operation here does some good. If we can all leave some part of the world in a better state than we found it, we'll have lived lives worth living. And speaking of states, I have a horrible feeling I left the house in a right one. <laughs> when I get back, I expect my life won't be worth living at all. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's voice doesn't sound like he's actually American. What do you think of Madagascar then? Bit warm for my tastes, to be honest. Anyway, this is Bernie's primate sanctuary. It's not just primates, though. We've got all sorts of animals. So why don't we go and have a look at some of them, eh? We'll start by taking a look at the red ruffed lemurs. They're the ones that look like they should be in a Shakespeare play. <laughs> Come on, let's head over to them. Okay. Alright, frame rate issues seem to have reduced now. <clears throat> Locate the highlighted area. Lemurs! Red ruffed lemurs are found in the rainforests of Masuala. That's in northeast Madagascar. They can actually live anywhere from 15 up to 25 years. Fancy that, eh? Okay, when you're ready, let's go find our Bornean orangutans. Okay. Enrichment items. Okay, they need enrichment in here. Shall I, like, preempt and just go straight ahead and start adding things? Uh. Lee. How do you spell Lima? Is, is, it, is it I? Lee? Lee. Mer? Eater, cooler. It's not giving me anything. Okay. Okay, we found the lemurs. Lemurs. This one. 
We're here. The Bornean orangutan is such a marvellous creature. Where is it? They're always a big favourite at any zoo they feature in. And they're also the biggest tree-dwelling animal on the planet. <laughs> Assuming you don't count any lions that got stuck up one. Oh, look at that big boy. Oh, why don't you take a better look at them? Open I'm up trying. the information panel and go into the animal camera. Look at him. Big old flaps. Aren't they just incredible? What are they for, those flaps? When you're ready, let's go and have a look-see at some of our beautiful bonobos. <laughs> They're quite the characters. Look at, those look at those flaps! Look at those flaps! <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, okay. Next Next thing, what are we doing? Enough about enough of the flaps. Oh dear! It looks like we've arrived just in time. One of the habitat's barriers has collapsed. Where? And wouldn't you know it? One of the bonobos has made a run for it. We'll need to catch them. But before we do, we should box up the other bonobos to stop them escaping too. Okay. Select the habitat boundary to bring up the habitat information panel. Okay, so you do click but on the boundary to do the that. Animals tab. And click on Box All Animals to box up the remaining bonobos. Um. Okay, I had to find that myself. Okay. Now, we'll need a vet to recapture they the became boxes. bonobo. But it seems our last one left to do some research in the wild. Not an ideal situation. Why so would we not hire we another hire one? A replacement, sharpish. Why didn't we hire them the before? Section and then into the staff management area. Okay. Hire. You can find all of your staff in here, but there's no time to go looking at their particulars at the moment. Hire a vet. Vet. Now click <coughs> on the path to place the vet in your zoo. Go. As you can see, the barriers collapsed. Someone's taken their eye off the ball, obviously. Who did Let's we hire? Get this one replaced. Select the barrier and then we'll edit it. Inspecting the red rough lemur. Barrier and replace it with a brand spanking new one. Well, let's not get kinky. Let's just replace the wall. What are we doing? Wood logs. Um. Wood wood logs. Do you want to? Do you want to just go to the to the section? Um. All right. Wood wood logs. Why is this so difficult? I don't understand why this why the building is such a pain in the ass. Wait, is it because it's still got bits there? Okay, it's because the bits were still there. Would have been nice for you to tell me to delete things first. That way the bonobos won't be able to climb out. Just make sure you've got the correct piece of barrier selected when you do that. Okay, so go into the options section and select which side the climb-proof barrier needs to go on. And don't get it wrong. We're more worried about bonobos climbing out than guests climbing in. Climb-proof barrier. This side. Um. Curve barrier at the top. I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, okay. And I think it's high time we unbox those bonobos, wouldn't you say? No, I think they can stay in the boxes. That sounds fine. Select the habitat barrier to bring up the habitat information panel again. Uh, go in there. And then open the animals tab. Unbox all animals. And finally, click on unbox all animals to let them out. I expect some of them are fair bursting for the toilet. 
What is so, that? It turns out that as well as the old vet leaving, there's those speaker. mechanics did too. We'll need to hire a couple of new ones so we can help stop any more breakouts. Okay. Because mechanics do all <clears throat> sorts of helpful things around the zoo, but one of their most important jobs is taking care of the habitat barriers. Boop. Without mechanics Boop. around to repair them, the barriers done. Will crack, crumble, and fall down. Fantastic. And you know it will be overrun with escaped animals. Go into the zoo section and then into the staff management area again. <coughs> I'm getting Gosh, we ahead of you. Busy, haven't we? Good work there. I'm off for a cuppa. Oh, I think Bernie wants a word with you. Locate the highlighted area. Oh, Bernie. Oh, I hear you had a bit of an issue with an escaped bonobo. The main thing is that you dealt with it swiftly, and more importantly. Without the animals stealing someone's clothes, putting them on, and then walking out of the front gate. Does that happen? Does that you happen? See, another key responsibility for our vets is animal research. Researching animals allows vets to unlock new enrichment items, additional information for our education resources, enhanced breeding programs, oh, and there. improvements to food quality. <laughs> Find the highlighted <laughs> the area. Food, not the vets. It'll take more than a research grant to improve the staff canteen. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, research is a key part of running your zoo. Okay. In order for a vet to undertake research, they require a research centre. <laughs> and once again, that's is that what we're that doing? This zoo is missing. So let's build one. I've marked out an area for you to put it. Uh, research centre. Now, research you've probably small. noticed that there's already a building where I want you to build the research centre. Don't worry. You see, the building that's currently there is actually a hollow shell. So we're able to place our new building inside of it. Okay. If you select the research center for placement and then hover over the shell, you'll see that it asks if you want to add the research center to the existing building. Uh. Okay, click to add it to the building. Oh, but that won't place it in just yet, though. Wait a minute. First, we'll need to rotate our research center so it automatically connects to the path when we place it. How did, how did we do that? I don't remember how we did that. Was that... Oh, it was Z. Okay. Can we... Uh... Oh. Yeah, uh... Yes. Make sure it's connected to a part. I don't... Have I fucked this up? Wait, is that... Oh, that's the window. Wait. So there's a... Oh, there's, I keep forgetting. These aren't, like, kiosks. Right. Splendid work. Now that we have a brand spanking new research centre... It looks like garbage. Our vet something to do in there. Oh, by the way, it's worth noting that the vets will only do research when they're not required to do any other jobs. That said, you can change uh, what jobs a vet okay. does via their information panel. But let's not worry about that just now. So, let's get our vet researching ring-tailed lemurs. Go into the zoo section and select vet research. What the hell is that? Cockroach? Here, you can see a list of all the animals present in your zoo. And also all the potential diseases that can occur. Now, okay. drag and drop your vet onto the ring-tailed lemur to start their research. Drag and drop your vet onto the... Oh, okay. Actually, thinking about it, I'm not sure we've got any education boards or speakers by the lemur's habitat. Let's head over there and answer so our guests can learn all about the furry little delights. Um... Which one was Lima's again? Oh, this one. First off, let's pop down two education boards. Place them on There's the already a board. barriers at a height that guests can see, or if you like, pop them down on a stand. Uh. Oh, I see. Ooh. Uh. Okay. That okay? Are you? Are, are we? Are we good for that? That seems a bit strange. Advertisement targets. 
two educational boards for ring-tailed lemurs. Are these going to just automatically, or do I need to tell them what to do? Um, habit. Oh, educational board set. Okay. Um. Where's the, do I have to put another one over here or something? What? Oh, right. Oh, they're just legs. I was wondering what these were doing here. Um, that is very small. Um, two educational boards for ring-tailed lemurs place two edu educational speakers. Habitat web camera. Are these speakers? I see. One there. And I suppose one there. Is that not sufficient? And from the drop-down list, select ring-tailed lemur. Although I'm sure that last part was obvious. When you link an education board or a speaker to an animal, you need to make sure that said animal is close by. If right. The guests will get confused and won't learn as much. I see. Okay. okay. Now that they've been put into position, we have to tell them Land what job. animal to display information about. Select one of the education boards to bring up its information panel. Okay. Mandrill. Okay, maybe not Mandrill. Okay, Lima. now that we've done the education boards, let's pop down a pair of speakers. Speakers play audio to the guests. I've popped so down they speakers. While they look at the animals. Instead of having to go Lima. through the laborious process of reading. Oh, one thing to bear in mind is that it's important not to put the speakers too close together. If you do, the guests won't be able to understand what's being said. Why? Fantastic. If, if they're saying the same it's thing, it should be fine, right? That education boards and speakers both need power to work. They won't do much good without it. Power? Ooh. It looks Why? as though our vet has completed their research on ring-tailed lemurs. Brilliant. We'll need to collect the results. We can do that by clicking on the notification or by going back into the vet research area. Okay. So, was it? Are they? Oh, they are just continuing. Rewards. Just so you know, vets what are the rewards? continue to research an animal even after successfully completing a research level. <laughs> I suppose when you're in the zone, you're in the zone. Okay. What were the re well, what were the rewards? Now that we've enriched the lives of our guests. Let's enrich the this? lives of our ring-tailed lemurs. Toy enrichment, Some animals, food. Like lemurs, will have a climbing okay. need. That means they have a requirement for a certain amount of climbing space. And you can fulfill that requirement by building them a climbing frame. Let's find out how much more climbing space our lemur friends need, shall we? Select one of them and bring up their information panel. Lemur! Where are the lemurs? Are they under here? There's one. Next, Oi, King Julian. Click on the terrain tab. Ah, climbing now, area. As you can see, the lemurs need quite a lot more climbing space. But as it happens, I've already got a climbing frame blueprint built for you. So F you fantastic. can either pop that down or build one yourself from scratch. R really? By the way, it's not always just climbing needs that you have to worry about. Other animals might need a certain amount of water in their Is habitat that it? so they can go for a swim. Lima climbing they frame, okay. Do keep us on our toes. Um. Okay, let's pop that down. Oh, that's a great climbing frame for them. They Some of it's in the air. Absolutely love it. Do you know what would make them even happier though? Nicer food. But that's true of food. all of us, though, isn't it? You can unlock better quality food for animals through research. Luckily, we've already unlocked some for the lemurs, so all that remains is to make sure they get served it from now on. Food and water. 
Let's bring up the habitat information panel by selecting the Lima habitat. Okay. Barrier section. Why is it doing that now? Why is it doing individual sections? Lovely. Now select the animals tab. Uh, okay. There you go. As you can see, we can set the food quality in here. Just click on the drop down menu and select grade 2 food quality. Okay. Grade 2 food quality. <coughs> My mouth's already watering. Mmm. Oh, I do love that grade 2 food quality. So, a new climbing frame and better food. Oh, you've really spoilt those lemurs rotten. <laughs> now, I think it's time we looked at one of the zoo's most important responsibilities. Releasing animals into the wild. Wow, you I've see, been doing that from the start. Ready, we can release them into the wild. But what makes an animal a good candidate for release? I know, well, pretending to be human. An important factor. I mean, we can't release an animal that's a juvenile, just as we can't release one that's gotten too old. They'll also need to be fertile. After all, the idea is to repopulate the wild, so the best candidates will have a high fertility gene. And together, it's the going to do a lot of shagging. The candidate will determine how many conservation credits we'll be rewarded when what we release doing? them. Now, Who's that? conservation credits are vitally important. They're the are they vacuuming the lemurs because earning them allows you to adopt even more animals. And what's more, oh, the animals the you can Camera adopt control for this is so fucking quality. garbage. So, with that in mind, what were, you, were you hoovering the lemurs? I just want to. I just want to look around. I just want to look around, but it's taking me all sorts of different places. Look, why is this now the focus? Things keep changing. I'm starting to go off this game. I thought this would be fun. It's actually quite annoying. Um. I didn't listen to a word she said. Locate the highlighted area again. Right, here we go. Okay, I'd like you to find Ageng, the Bornean orangutan in the habitat, and select him, please. Is it that you one, big guy? Through each orangutan in turn. Buana. Select the habitat barrier, go nope. to the animals tab in the habitat information panel, and find him in the animals list. Wait, what? Is that the one I'm looking for? This one. I found him. You've still yet to tell me how I'm supposed to... Oh, you can click the, the little icon. It takes you to it. Release Agang into the wild. Okay. Go. I know it's sad to see him go, but he'll be happy out in the wild. And he's a wonderful candidate for release. Young, strong, and fertile. Excellent work there. You've definitely got potential, you know. Yes, I am young, strong, and fertile. Ah, I see you've been doing some homework. Although, it hardly seems like work when you're learning about something as adorable as a ring-tailed lima. I imagine I'd have got much better grades at school if there'd been less algebra and more aldebra. Tortoises. Cosmic cow. Okay, so far we've done a lot of work with habitat animals, but now it's, it's time to learn all there. about exhibit animals. Let's build a brand new exhibit. Okay. I've marked an area for our new exhibit. How about we head over there? Okay. New exhibit. Okay. Now let's build a new exhibit <clears throat> in the gap that's been left. Just add it to the building like we did with the research center earlier, then pop it into the gap. Pop, pop an exhibit in a gap. Okay, this thing? Um, it doesn't seem to want to be in the gap. Wait. Um, is that the front? Why doesn't it want to be in the gap? Can we can we snap to certain angles? I'm trying to, I'm trying to do the things that like come naturally to this sort of thing. 
but it doesn't seem that that is the case. Oh, hang on. Perfect. The next thing to do is adopt an exhibit animal to go in there. How about a healer monster? Open up the exhibit trading section and adopt one. See, why does it do this? Whenever I click something in there, it gives me this extra bit. Exit. Um, Gila Monster. All right, we're Just adopting we it. With habitat animals, we need to send the Gila Monster to the exhibit. Click the exhibit to send it there. When you send an animal to an exhibit, it'll automatically be given the correct setup. But that doesn't mean it's completely ready for them. So let's finish it off. Okay. We'll start by adding some enrichment items. Click on the exhibit to bring up its information panel. It needs... Ecosystem has severe welfare issues. Layout. Partially providing enrichment features. Temperature and humidity. Okay. Oh, well, it looks like we've only got the enrichment level one items unlocked at the moment. Oh, we've got to research Let's it, haven't we? Let's turn on at least one of them for the healer monster. Hiding place C. That looks better. As ah, I'm sure there. you know by now, you can unlock more enrichment levels by having one of your vets do some research. Aha. Now we'll also need to set the temperature and humidity in the exhibit. These are vitally important for keeping our healer monster happy and comfortable. Click on the climate tab. Okay, did that. Here, you can see the healer monster's desired temperature and humidity. You can change both of these by adjusting the dials below. Make sure it's going to be nice and cosy. What does it need? Temperature range 35 to 42. So let's say 38. And the humidity has got to be 83%. Oh no, range 15 to 25%. Okay, let's make it 20 then. Okay. And the last thing we need to look at is setting up the different windows. So click on the Windows tab. Okay. You can Close. You can customise any of the windows on Close. an exhibit. A window can be closed and closed or have a two-dimensional background. Close. Or even a three-dimensional background on it. Why don't you have a play around with the options? Um, I am. I am enjoying. There's also an exhibit making education making board. it so people can't Pop see. Pop them down near your exhibit to teach your guests about them. Let's add one now. 3D facade. Eventually, we'll get a 3D facade for the front. Whatever that means. Apparently, that does shit all. Oh. Wait. 2D facade. None. Oh! Oh, right. Okay. 3D facade. So if we go in here... Oh, that's very nice. Oh, yeah. Just being in here is all, all right. Not even getting to see anything. That's great. I like that. Um, facades close it off yeah just leave that for uh, leave that for the, the monster and what was that educational boards we've got to put some educational boards up for this um, memorial plaque editable sign um Okay, let's put it right in the middle there. Here's what you could be looking at. Um, the... Ring-tailed lemur. Yes. Was that what I was supposed to do? Hold on. 
Increase Gila Monster Education Rating. Place one exhibit educational board for Gila Monster. Is it is it actually in there? Layout is partially providing enrichment features. That's okay, but Gila Monster. Do we not have See it's not on here? Lima. Oh, okay, okay. Just Apparently, like the these will climb. Just like boards and speakers we put down for the ring-tailed lemurs, you'll need to link these to the Gila monster. Go on. Hey, there we go, Gila monster. Uh, stuff. Now our guests. This one isn't for Gila's. About our venomous friend here. Gila. Right. Now I've got a bit of a big job for you. I need you to increase the number of species in the zoo. You'll probably want to adopt both habitat and exhibit animals to do so, which will mean building plenty of new habitats and exhibits for them. Go oh, on, must off I? Pop. I'll check in with you when you're almost done. I have at least 12 species in the zoo. Species of what? Monsters? Is that what I've got to do? Research. Vet research is complete. Edu oh, oh, okay. Um, alright, species of insert thing here, okay, surely some of these can share exhibits, right? Um, so what, 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 what can we get? Animals, habitats, quarantine, did I just hear a dog? These are the, okay. These are our animals. This is what we want. Bonobos. Hippopotamus. Yes. Let's get some hippos. Waiting in trade center. Fantastic. Uh, we've already got red rough thingies. We've already got, got them. What about western chimpanzees? Um. Bonobos, mandrels. We don't seem to have champ champanzees. Okay, we'll get some chimps. You gimme, you gimme. Right, they c sh now surely, surely they can share with. Um, these guys. Right? They're not going to, like, hump each other and create a new subspecies, are they? Okay. Um, let's get those two and send to the zoo. Put in here. Uh, and the hippos. Um... What is this? Hippopot oh, we already have hippopotamuses. Okay, they can go in here then. So how many? Uh, how many do we already have? Um, one, two. Hang on. Is there not, like, an easy way to just find out how many different species we've got? One, two... Why are the Why have these got specifically different images on them? Is there a difference between the male and the females? See, these are all orangutans, Born Bornean orangutans, but they've got like three different images. 
giant burrowing cockroach. Where have we got that? Oh, is, is that that? Ew. Oh, they're throwing money into the thing. Interesting. Is that it? That down there? It's so small. I can't even click on it. Okay, so maybe there's like more of these I could put down then. Um, habitats. Hang on, what was it? Facilities, exhibits. Animal exhibit. Go for it. Let's whack this uh, in... What is that? Is that just a light? Could we not just stick it there? Like, if we get rid of... Oh. If we get rid of that, and then put an exhibit in there, surely all good, right? Um, wait, exhibit trade? Do we have to actually trade for exhibits? Snails! Gila monster. Interesting. Goliath frogs. Wait, have we already got these? Hang on, let's have a look at our zoo again, see what animals we've got. Mainly monkeys. Exhibits. No species assigned to that exhibit. Where is that? Oh, I see. So... If we get, like, some snails or something and stick it in there... Um, yeah. Give me some snails. Uh, can we not... Okay, let's get a female as well, because we want them to be making their own. We, 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 we grow our own in this zoo. Um, um, how do we, how do we do this again? View exhibit animal market. Okay. I think... No, not Animal Market. We have... We have Min... In here somewhere? I can't remember where... Zoo... Where do we, where do we find the ones that we've got in... I have completely forgotten everything already. Oh! No! Enough, enough with the research. What low welfare animal is stressed? Well, fuck off. Exhibit animal storage. Ah, okay. So if I get these two send to zoo and put them in here, aha! There we go. Okay, snails, they are crawling up the walls. Um, exhibit, what do they need? Layout? Finding a Richmond feature. I think we can do better with that, can't we? Customize. Customize? No. Layout. Give them another rock. In fact, give them plenty of rocks. Loads of rocks. That's as much as we can give them. Um... 3D facade on this side. Okay. Go for it.
Does this have anything in it? It looks like it's set up for something. Burrowing cockroaches. Interesting. Um, what is that? Oh, I accidentally clicked on a person. Just wanted to know what these things were up here. Ugh. Why is the camera being such a pain in the ass? I don't want to be under here. What the fuck? It's like its point of focus is a million miles under the ground. Weird. Now I don't know where my... Th oh, there it is. Okay. I just wanted to know what that was. I suppose I'm not going to find out, am I? What is that? It's a light. Okay. Um, that's in there. We've got cockroaches in there. Where was the other... The spare habitat. How did I find that? Animal welfare has attracted protesters. God damn it. Okay. You know what? This is really let I this is a letdown this game. I thought it would be nice and simple. I'd be able to build a few things. It'd be you know, it'd be interesting. It wouldn't be so min maxi. But it is. There is a lot of shit here. It's like it's like having a second job. And I'm not in the mood for a second job right now. Um, obviously, this is a good game. Unfortunately, it's not for me. Um, it's going to be a short stream today. Uh, we've just hit the two hour mark. But... It was an interesting look into what we can do on this. Maybe this mode isn't for me. Maybe if I learned the game first, then started playing it, that would be better. But learning on stream seems to be a little bit annoying. So I'm just, I'm, I'll, I'll probably continue playing this after the stream to see if we can do anything better. But, you know, this isn't very entertaining, so I'm going to stop. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you're new and you're still watching, please give us a follow. That would be very much appreciated. This isn't typical. Usually we play better stuff than this. Um, but, you know, this was a, this was a test. Um, yeah, so um, I am going to see who we've got online. Nobody. Nobody is online. What day is it? Saturday. That explains it. Okay. Um, well, I won't be raiding. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And bye-bye. Um, bye-bye.